In this tutorial, I'm going to show you to change the lame newer posts and older posts links at the end of a blog listings page and replace those with numbers and next buttons and previous buttons. You can change the text on them if you want to, but at the very least, it's going to be numbers that shows how many post pages there are and it's much easier to navigate. And we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe, then hit the bell notification icon so YouTube actually tells you when I publish new stuff. And with that out of the way, let's head in the screen capture and start learning some stuff. I'll see you there. Just to illustrate what we're going to change, if we head out to the main blog for the website, quite often what you will see at the end of the list of the blog posts is you're going to see something that says older entries and if you click on that it'll take you to the next page and the bottom of this page it'll say older entries and newer entries and you go back and forth and navigate through the pages like that and using WP page navi we're going to replace these with a horizontal list of page numbers and it's much easier to navigate and people will know right up front how many pages of blog posts that you have so what we have to do is install the plugin. I'm going to head over to plugins and then add new. I'm going to look up WP page Navi. The one we want is this first one right here. 900,000 plus installs, four to five stars. Compatible with the current version. Looks pretty good. But if you want to be extra safe, back up your website files and the database. I'm going to click on install now to install it and then on activate. Now that it's activated, we have a new menu option under settings called page Navi. I'm going to click on that to see the settings for this plugin. There aren't very many. And in fact, without changing anything, I'm going to head out to the blog here, just refresh this page, and you see instantly without us actually changing any of the settings, we already have default settings. So it says here we're on page two of three, and you can navigate by clicking on the page numbers or these forward and back arrows. Head over to the settings, and we can change the text. So that first part where it said page two of three, that we can change in this first box. So it's page and then a variable current page of and then total number of pages. You can erase that completely if you don't want to see that. And then the current page, it shows the page number. The text for page shows the page number. So if we go back to here, the current page is always the one that's highlighted like this. So if we were to just illustrate that, it's going to add the letter A before the current page. Click on Save Settings, refresh the page. Now there's an A in front of it. If we go to page three, that A is gonna be removed from page two and it's gonna be added to page three, like this. So whatever you enter in these fields is assigned to specific states and specific pages. If you're not sure what goes where, just add a letter like I did and then go and see what happens on the front end. For the previous and next page text, we just have little arrows, which you can see here, just a previous here, if we go back to a page in the middle of our list, we have the previous arrow and the next arrow. You can write previous and next in here if you want, or even remove them if you wanted to. And carrying on, there's a special CSS file you can use to customize the CSS. The navigation style, you can choose from normal and drop down. So if you click on save changes for the drop down, I'm going to see what that looks like. And I don't think it looks very good but this is the default dropdown for the page navi. I'm gonna turn that back to normal. This option here, always show page navigation, and the option is basically saying, if there's only one page, do you wanna show the navigation or not? It's gonna show if there's multiple, but if you only have one page, do you wanna show it? Logically, you'd say no, but maybe for some reason you do want that to appear, and you click yes. Number of pages to show, just to illustrate that, I'm just gonna save changes and then refresh this page again we only have three pages of blog posts here but if we had five it would show one two three four five and then if we have more than five it would insert dot 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 in between so it'd probably say something like one two three dot 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 then the last two page numbers after that so if you have a huge number of pages on your site you have the option here to show a list of larger pages the example they give is you have page one, two, three, four, five, and then it jumps up to 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And the number you have here is how many of the larger version that you would have. So in this case, they have one, two, three, four, five, 
in their example. So you add the number five here, then you'd have something very similar to this if you had 50 posts. And the next option is related to that as well, where it, it allows you to define the multiple that you wanna show those pages by. So in this example again, these are all multiples of 10. So every larger page number increments up by 10. You could have an increment up by five, which is the example it shows here, or you could have an increment up by two or 20 or 100 or whatever you want. And if you wanna disable that completely, you just enter a zero here and it will not show the larger page numbers. I'm gonna click on save changes and that is really it for the default page navi. I'm gonna refresh this page again just to make sure we're all up to date. And this is something like what it would look like on your site, which in my opinion is a lot better than having the newer entries and older entries link. I hope this video helps you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, then click the bell notification icon so you're actually notified when I publish more tutorials for you. And with that out of the way, click on one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.